Hey guys, I'm going to show you how you can get 10 perks on the new Black Ops 4 Zombies map, Ancient Evil. So far, out of all the zombie maps for Black Ops 4, Ancient Evil and 9 are the only maps that you can get 10 perks on. There could be ways to get 10 perks on the other maps, but so far we have not uncovered the Easter eggs that allow us to do it. So on 9, to get 10 perks, you have to do some challenges and an Easter egg, and then use this elixir here called Perk Up, which will give you 4 extra perks that you don't already have in your loadout. There's a specific order of things you need to do to be able to acquire all 10 perks. If you don't do them in the right order, then it's not going to work. One of the first things you have to do is start the challenges in the arena and do all of them to the point where it gives you a perk as the last reward. So you'll have to finish all of them. Once you get this perk as a reward, go ahead and pick it up. And then the next thing you want to do is make sure you have that side Easter egg finished with that Viking boat. And then you got to go seven rounds. And after seven rounds, it will reward you with another perk. Once you have both of these perks picked up, you can then use your perk up elixir. If you do the elixir beforehand, it will give you duplicate perks and you will not end up with 10 different ones. And the same rule goes for Ancient Evil. You need to acquire the perks from rewards from the map and then you can use the perk up and it'll give you 10. The first thing you need to do to acquire these free perks is go to the amphitheater and trigger this lockdown with the Sentinel Artifact. After you do that, you can start doing challenges in the Temple of Apollo and you'll be doing these challenges and leveling them up and then picking up the rewards here near this fire pit. And this is where you're gonna be picking up both perks. Now you might get these perks really early Early on or it might take you several rounds to finally earn them to start the challenges and get them leveled up to acquire the perks you have to come over to this bowl right here and it's gonna cost you 500 points at first to start these challenges each challenge lasts a couple of minutes and you may have to do a lot of these challenges anywhere from like 10 to 20 and at first each individual challenge will cost 500 points but it slowly goes up and in the 20s it starts costing you 2,000 points per challenge the challenges vary and they're extremely easy. Sometimes it wants you to get headshots or melee kills or take damage from zombies and heal or they want you to survive in certain areas of the map without leaving. And that's what this challenge is right here. For two minutes they wanted us to survive the bathhouse area and not leave. And the longer we can stay here and hold it down the better our reward's going to be. So right here we went from legendary to epic. When you first start a challenge with the bull and pay for it it's going to start you out at common for the very first time and then you're going to start doing the challenges in the better you do, the faster you're going to level up. So you'll go from common, rare, legendary, and then epic. To reach the epic level, you may have to do two to three challenges and do really well with them, and that's going to cost you 500 points each time. So you might be spending around 1,500 points. And you want to reach the epic level because that is where you can get free perks. So in this game here, there were two of us, and the other player was able to get a perk by round eight. Also, you are able to pick up the rewards from these bowls when you reach common, rare, or legendary status. But if you do, it's going to reset you back down to common, and you're going to have to start over to get back up to epic. Also, I will mention, you can do this in custom lobby, which is unlike nine. Nine, you have to be in a regular classic lobby so that you can do that Easter egg with the Viking boat. So after this player had gotten the first extra perk, perk from the bowl on round eight, he was able to get the second one on round 11. So that wasn't too bad. These rewards are random. Sometimes you'll get pack-a-punch guns or you'll get the Pegasus staff or you will get a perk. But once you do reach epic status, you do need to go and collect your reward so that you can start over and rank it back up to epic and keep checking the rewards to see if you can get a perk. Also, I'll mention that sometimes these challenges are a little strange. When you start getting up into the 20s, they start going really fast. Like this went from common rare to legendary to epic in no time at all. And for me, I didn't have much luck in this game getting perks early on. I got my first perk like round 15 and that was like grinding challenges nonstop. And then I finally got my second perk on round 21. I had to spend a ton of money on that challenge bowl at this point and do nothing but focus on doing challenges to get these two perks. So just be aware that you could do this really early on and it could be easy or it could drag out for many rounds. So once you have your two extra perks, you can drink your perk up elixir. You don't have to have all your other four perks to purchase, but I went ahead and got them just to show that you can have all five of them at one time. Again, just remember to do the elixir after you get the two free perks, because if you drink that elixir beforehand and you have four perks on the left side, 
the free perks from the challenge bowls can sometimes duplicate what you already have on your screen from the perk up elixir. And once they're duplicated, it doesn't show up and you will not have 10 perks. You'll still be stuck with just eight. Also, aftertaste will not help you save these extra perks and being revived with the staff will not help you either. Also, the max perks that you can get from these challenge bowls is two. You can't get any more than that. But I hope this helped you guys out and we'll see you next video. Thank you for watching Glitching Queen's video. Oorah!